What's going on guys? This is your boy Name Found with another video. In today's video I'm going to revisit this instance, the one who waits in Elite version, just because I have I noticed that um, most of the time that the people are struggling in this instance uh, seems they can't complete because uh, fighting against the Batman Olaf most of the time it's challenging or sometimes it's even worse when they are struggling on the first boss just because they are um, avoiding the mechanics or because they don't know exactly how uh, they works. This is a um, revisit of this instance, guys, just uh, just because, uh, like I am doing in every other um, video that, that I'm making for this beautiful community, I want to help uh, um, the community with uh, maybe some kind of knowledge that maybe they are uh, missing, uh, and just to explain uh, from an impartial point of view the instance that they want to play. This one, guys, it's uh, it's a challenging um, it's a challenging al alert. I don't want to lie. So um, the group have to be coordinated, and uh, it's much better if they use the voice uh, the voice chat. Um, in this run, I, we didn't uh, just because I was on a live stream. So this is just a record of uh, a section of my live stream that I did uh, uh, today for the uh, daily reset of the server. They're doing. Uh, basically an update um, so it seems that the bug of the artifacts uh, uh, is back uh, most likely so they are fixing everything and servers are offline so that's why i am publishing this video this section of live stream was really fast, guys, just because I was doing my dailies, my uh, my daily farm on the U server while on live stream, enjoying the live stream with the, with the people, and basically that's the reason why I am uploading this one. I got a lot of private message as well on Discord and also in game to um, to publish an in-depth power set guide of uh, ICE, and that's what uh, that's what I'm going to do. That will be the next video, but for now let's focus on this instance. So. First boss, guys. So at the beginning, uh, at the beginning, you are fighting uh, a lot of ads. So they are spawning uh, next to the to the terminal, as you can see. And uh, the only thing that the tank have to do is just take the aggro immediately on the ads. Otherwise, if they attack a random guy on your group, most most of the time, ninety percent of the time, they will be one shotted. The composition of the team that we did, um, it's uh, one tank, one healer, one DPS, one tank, uh, one tank, I already said it, so it's uh, one, 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 as, uh, as usual, so uh, Snake was playing as a battle troll to buff the only DPS that, that we have in group. And then me uh, as tank, and also uh, Gyo as healer. So guys, uh, the the first boss uh, have multiple phases, as you know. So first one, it's just uh, an insane amount of uh, of ads. The second one, it's the same, plus the drones that when they your teammates kill them, they will activate a cog, and you have to turn uh, um, the cog around, otherwise they will explode. So I want to suggest you, if you are not ready uh, to turn on the cog, just dodge the damage of the bomb, otherwise it will be, it will hurt a lot. So, the second phase, there's nothing to explain, you have to take care just on... Um, on the um, on the teleporter tube, guys, uh, on uh, on the ground. Otherwise, you will be looped in this teleport, and you will get massive damage. This part is the most important one. It's the third phase, so the tank have to take immediately the aggro of um, of the turrets. So, as you can see in this uh, in uh, in this case, I was taking the aggro of the ads, and the turret pointed immediately uh, to. Um, uh, to a teammate, and he died. But it's fine, it can happen, guys, absolutely. So when this phase starts, you have to, as a tank, I'm talking about tank because that was uh, my role, guys, you have to take immediately the aggro of... Um, of the turrets, so your DPSs can immediately um, kill them because they are so dangerous. So as you can see, I'm moving, I'm taking the aggro of the turrets so they can focus me instead of my teammates. Another thing that's really important, guys, uh, doesn't matter which one, uh, which side you will start, if on the left or on the right, uh, it's totally up to you, just to take the coordination and kill them as soon as possible. 
when you kill all the, the turrets in the elite version, guys, you have to kill the tentacles at once. There is no way that, that, that you'll kill one by one. So I want to strongly suggest a pure single target um, build as a DPS for this one. So you can bring, so you can basically put them down to uh, something like 10% uh, of HP. And then you can use the orbital to finish them all. And you can um, activate them all, as you can see on the footage. Seems difficult, guys, but uh, like I'm always saying, that require pra uh, practice, and basically that's it. And at one point, you will get it. Once again, I want to suggest you guys to use the in-game in chat or maybe stick in Discord with your friends, with your um, with the people that you are playing with, to have a better coordination and to call certain kind of uh, attacks or kind of mechanic that that you wanna um, that you wanna uh, that you have to um, to dodge absolutely 1000% otherwise you will die and then you um, it's a guarantee wipe moving to uh, the the second boss a bunch of ads uh, in uh, in uh, in the middle guys so as thank uh, people who come on my live stream they already know that i love to take a massive aggro of the ads uh, just uh, just so my uh, mystic symbol of the seven uh, artifact will be so happy because I am stacking a lot of defense for each add that's close to me uh, and that allow you to go faster and faster and faster so your DPSs can focus on the damage on the adds and just unlock the last boss. Last boss mechanic, guys, uh, we discussed already a lot of time that the damage of uh, the red smoke, uh, it's insane, so it's greatly appreciated and suggested if uh, your healer have um, a purple healing ray uh, to uh, rank 200. This is purple healing ray? No, page of destiny, sorry, guys. So it's greatly appreciated if your um, healer have um, this artifact to 200 because it's uh, an instant... Uh, it's an instant uh, um, HP recharge when it procs, just for the damage of the toxin. The first phase, guys, it's, uh, this is mainly, um, so here the tank have to be really good. So to be, uh, to be successful on this phase, the tank have to be really good because the main difference between the regular one and the elite one, it's just one. The sub bosses on the elite, they don't despawn. So they, so the DPS have to kill them. So basically the tank have to be really fast to take the aggro on, uh, um, on uh, the sub bosses especially on the sub-bosses, because they will point immediately uh, your group members, and most of the time they will kill kill them. So in this case, uh, um, in this case, Gio didn't dodge the, the, um, the orbital, but it's kind of things that can happen, guys, absolutely. So don't be mad if something like that happen. So the most important thing in this boss fight, uh, it's a kind of job made mainly by the tank, and the second, uh, well, they are on the same level of importance, to be completely honest with you guys, because keeping them, uh, keeping your group alive is just a tank and healer um, job, and also the DPSs here have to be crazy. We, we were running with a buff troll, guys, so it's basically buffing the damage of the only DPS uh, that we have in uh, in this group, that's Yana, it's, uh, it's my lovely sister Yana, and uh, was a Pretty, pretty good. So, as you can see, guys, immediately take the aggro of the sub-bosses. It's the most important thing. And then take a position on your red smoke. When the uh, when the red school is over, just go away from the red smoke because otherwise it will be additional stress for your healer just because you are taking massive damage over time. So it's really, really, really important that you uh, move from the red smoke exactly when the red school is over. The rest, uh, the rest of the boss fight is just a repeat on exactly what I say, the guys. There is nothing, is nothing else to add. The only tricky part for the tank, and this is why I'm suggesting every single time that people who are playing tank, they have always to rotate the camera. Most of the time, 360 grades, just to have a better visual on what's going on around you and which kind of issue uh, your group can have if you don't take the aggro of the ads, especially for the sub bosses. So as a tank, guys, I wanna, I wanna, mm, I wanna suggest you to move your camera 
as you can for the simple reason for the simple reason that you have to be really fast to take the aggro otherwise if one sub bosses will point one of your teammates or uh, <clears throat> someone else they will die and die most of the time means wiping so again guys there is nothing else to say this is just um, a smooth boss fight um, once again the only thing that you need is just a lot of practice especially on the timings for countering him and as a tank it's really important that you get the most amount of immunity that you can so um, always keep uh, an eye on Batman who laugh so you can take the immunity and you can use the super speed to, uh, to take the aggro of the, the sub bosses and and everything will be fine. So as you can see, is the merciless and also um, and also the second one and taking a position directly on the red smoke to avoid the one shot mechanic. Most of the time the damage is uh, is crazy, so be, um, make sure to um, to be ready with your finger to activate uh, your um, your. Um, potion so the hp potion because uh, most of the time it can happen that your healer is stunned and he can't spam the priority heal to keep you alive so keep in mind guys that mo um, that you can get spikes damage when you are uh, going out from the red smoke the rest is completely uh, repeat that's the that's basically the most challenging part, guys. So when you download this part, you don't have nothing else to care about because the next uh, the next phase is just the Simon Says um, game. That's perfectly that's perfectly normal, guys, and it's easy. And it's easy. You have basically to match uh, the icon up to the head of Mr. Mitzi Spitalik and doing exactly what he's saying. So. This is uh, completely, completely uh, easy, guys, and easy. I'm pretty sure that you won't have any problem there. Um, while uh, while doing this uh, um, this game, the Simon Says game, uh, he will so the boss basically, uh, Mister Mitya Spitalik will spawn ads for each phase. So the tank have to take care of the ads, and then the the DPS will uh, will kill them. So. So once again, nothing particularly complicated on nothing uh, that's completely crazy, guys. So it's just a, uh, it's just a repeat what Mr. Mitzias Pitalik is saying and kill the ads. And basically, that's it. So uh, keep in mind, guys, that uh, um, if you fail, um, if you fail the commands of Mr. Mitzias Pitalik on the elite version of this raid, it's literally a one shot just because it's an own mechanic. So. Um, uh, so make sure to match the action that is uh, commanding you, otherwise it will be a one shot uh, and there is no way that you can survive. So this is another thing to keep in mind. Other than that, guys, there is nothing else. This is uh, basically the Mr. Mitzia Spitalik part. It's just the easiest part of the alert, the most challenging one. It's just the battle against the Batman Ulauf because it's not the Batman Ulauf himself that's dangerous. Jesus, uh, Jesus, he is dangerous, but isn't dangerous like the ads or the sub bosses that most of the time they are doing their, their school and the tank have to be really fast to interrupt them. Uh, like, for example, the Merciless when, uh, when he's doing the blade attack, the AOE attack. So you must block there, otherwise you will get one shotted. And kind of, um, kind of schools like, uh, like that. The second part, the, the final, uh, the final part. No, this is not the final part. Then we have the dice game. So basically, you have to um, break both dice, and you have basically to do an addition, mathematically addition to uh, the exact number of uh, um, of mechanism that 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 you have to uh, basically to disable. So. For example, dice number one, it's uh, uh, number two. Dice number two, it's one. So two plus uh, one is three. And you have to disable exactly and only three mechanism and just uh, leave the other one and kill them when the cog runs out. The rest is just a repeat. There is uh, no, nothing else difficult, guys. So I'm... So once again, I'm still saying that the most challenging part in this alert is just the Batman Olaf fight. And 
this is basically where people are um, have a lot of problems, struggling most of the time. And uh, I am making this guide, guys, just for help the new players and also um, helping the people who doesn't have a knowledge of the uh, mechanics. Because this is, so like you know, this is an elite alert. And as an elite alert, there is no way that you can skip mechanics. You have always to follow the mechanics. The last phase, and it's just the present one. Basically, guys, here I want to suggest a prec DPS brawling martial arts to break uh, the presence while the uh, tank is taking care of the ads. And another tip, it's... If you are not a tank, guys, just stick on the edge of the room because uh, if you are pointing um, to the middle, basically the balls will uh, crowd control you, as you can see on, on the footage, and it, it will be really, really difficult to, to de destroy the presence. This is uh, for sure. The augments here can help, but not that much, to be completely honest with you. So keep in mind, guys, to stick uh, to the edge of uh, the room and... Uh, you can kill, you can break basically every single presence. And after three um, um, three waves of the presence, the alert is literally over. That's basically it, guys. So let me know in the comment section below what you think and also which is the hardest part for you. For this video, it's literally uh, it's literally everything. That that was just a fast video. I want to also say a huge thank you to Dragonette Snake and Gio to join me for this uh, uh, run. That was absolutely an awesome one. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really hope that you uh, uh, like what I'm doing for this universal line, and I really hope that you find this one so uh, helpful. Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget that I'm streaming every single day from Monday to Friday from 3 uh, p.m. to uh, um, 8 p.m. Central European time. If you want to jump in, you are more than welcome to come on the live stream and have fun with us. Thank you so much once again, guys. And of course, like every other single time, we will see you in the next one.